Hello, what's up, Triple O Seven? And in today's video, I'll be talking to you guys about how to tell if your PC is overheating. So there are many symptoms to overheating, such as blue screens, RAM shutting down, and even freezing. If these things happen while recording a video or playing a game on your computer, this is probably due to overheating. So the first thing you want to do is identify the temperature of your system. The two hottest parts in your computer are normally the graphics card and the processor. To identify these temperatures, there are a couple different ways. The first way is booting into the BIOS, which is pretty simple. All you gotta do is restart the computer. You can either press delete or escape or something like that. And you can normally get to this menu here. From here, you can tell the temperatures of the CPU and the motherboard. What you wanna go for is the CPU between around 40 degrees Celsius. If you can get 40 to 45, no higher than 55. You don't really want a higher than 55 degrees Celsius. Motherboard should be a little bit cooler. So go from there. And if you're in that general temperature, that's good to go. Now you can also check the fan speeds here. So make sure they're on. And also guys, please Google your parts. Um, the web websites will have information on your specific part and on what temperature it should be at. You can also download a program called Harbor Monitor. I highly suggest this program. It's a really sweet program actually. And within a few clicks, you can get it up and running and it will tell you all kinds of information about your system. So it will tell you everything from CPU temperature to GPU temperature to hard drive temperature. So like I said though, the two things that heat up the most are your CPU and your GPU. So like I said though, make sure you Google your parts, some graphics cards, even the newer parts nowadays, can go higher temperatures so make sure you google your part and see what you'd be at but for a cpu general um, statement just this is just general is 40 degrees to 50 degrees celsius if you're between there you're pretty much good to go so which, what i want you guys to do is do something demanding so for example for my test here i'm going to go ahead and play tom glancy's blacklist on my pc so i have it on ultra settings i play this for about five, 10 minutes, just enough so that the computer can really, you know, play it. Now when you do this, your computer has to work harder. So then heats up. So what you want to do is play a game like this. And then once you're done, go back to hardware monitor and see if you see any changes. You should see some for sure. So on the left, I have um, after results. And on the right, I have before. So on the left side, you can see that the temperatures have increased on everything, which is normal, um, but they haven't increased much at all. And for me, my system's pretty good. So dust. Dust is a horrible thing for your computer. At least clean your computer out twice a year. My computer, for example, has a dust filter. And I'll show you guys, it actually pays with a lot of dust. So if you use compressed air, you can blow all the air out. Dust keeps the heat inside the computer. A fireplace. Hot stuff in general is horrible for the computer because it sucks in that hot air and in turn makes your system hot. Kind of an obvious one is make sure your fan's on. You can kind of hear if it's on or not. Also for desktops and laptops, make sure there's enough room for ventilation. So here I have my desktop, the air comes out the back of the computer. I have enough room so that it can blow out. A laptops have pads, never put them on pillows or blankets, put them on hard surfaces so the air can be vent ventilated down. Also, update your drivers. Do you can a simple Google search, you can find your drivers, and a lot of times they actually improve performance and can make them silent and make them cooler because of the fan updates. So also your CPU cooler, um, you can replace that if your CPU is filling up too high with the aftermarket cooler. This is a big one, and this will for sure get you a cooler CPU. As you saw in one of the pictures, mine's a pretty big one. Um, and that's about it, guys. So that's about it for this video. Um, there's not much to it. Like I said, though, keeping your system cool is a lot of times common sense. It's not that hard. As long as you, you know, clean the computer out, keep the dust away, make sure there's good ventilation, and make sure those fans are on, you're pretty much golden. Thanks for watching, guys. Feel free to like it. And if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, you can leave them below as well. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in my next video. This is the Hacker 0007, and I'm signing off.